G'day and welcome to the Text Math Channel. What I'm going to be having a look at in this video is how to multiply any number at all really, really fast. We're only going to get up to three digits, but this could be expanded uh, you know, to, to basically any type of number you want, even ridiculously big ones. So I'm going to give you a question to start off with, and I'm going to just go over the pattern which I've been looking at in other videos on how to do this. By the way, if you haven't seen my other videos, I recommend, it's probably a big hand if you wish to get onto this one, to go through a couple of those first, but you don't necessarily need it. It depends how quick you are on the uptake. Anyway, the question I'm going to give you is this one. 102 times 231. And I'll give you, I reckon, about five seconds to do that. Ready, set, go. All right, now have you got the answer uh, of 23,562? Really, really well done. If not, I'll just go through really, really quickly how to do these. So I've drawn some dots up on the right of the screen here just to go through and show you the pattern which I'll be using. I'm going to use this pattern again and again. So the first thing I did was to get my answer is I went 2 times 1. So I multiplied these two numbers here and I got the answer of 2. Okay, the very next thing I did is, I'll get rid of that, the next thing I did is I multiplied 1 times nothing and 3 times 2. So I multiplied these two numbers. Okay, and so 1 times nothing is nothing, 3 times 2 is 6. So I'll put that answer down. Okay, I'll get rid of the, uh, that particular one and I'll get on to the next number. I went 1 times 1, 2 times 2, and 3 times nothing. So this one looks like this. Okay, so 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times nothing is nothing. Add all these together, I get the answer of 5. All right, we're halfway through. The next question I did, or the next part of my, my question I did, now I move on to multiplying these two numbers. So, nothing times two, three times one, nothing plus three gives me a three. And then last of all, it leaves me with the very last number, and the two numbers which I multiply are these two. Okay, so two times one, and the answer is 2. There's my answer, 23,562. So hopefully you see this pattern here, okay, where we start off and we multiply these numbers, then we're working with these numbers, then we're working with all three, and now we've sort of moved over to this side, and then we've moved on to these two numbers. It's sort of like, I guess, almost looks like you're going up and over a hill or something like this, okay? You're shifting across. Um, hopefully you see this, this pattern, okay? It's a really, really handy pattern. If you can do it, good on you, you should be able to do lots and lots of questions because it leads us on to the next type of question which I'll put on now. Okay, so 306 times 24. Now what you're going to notice straight away, it's really, really hard to stick to these particular patterns here because all of a sudden we're not dealing with three versus three things. Okay, this is it's, it's not just dealing like that. But you can make it do that and there's a very, very simple trick behind doing it. Put, make this number here a zero. Hey, look at that. Straight away, you can do the same pattern. So let's do these numbers first. Six fours are 24. So we put the four down, we carry the two. Four nothing is nothing. Six twos are 12. Plus two is another four. 14, carry the one. Three times two, four, four times three is 12. Six times nothing is nothing. Two times nothing is nothing. So 12 plus this one here is 13. Carry the one. Three twos are six. Nothing times nothing. Okay, so 6 plus this one here is 7, and then 3 times nothing is nothing. I won't bother to put that in. There's our answer, 7,344. So that's how you do this little trick. Pretty cool, right? You can do this with any type of numbers. You can do this with four-digit numbers, five-digit numbers. <laughs> the, the possibilities are endless. There's just a little, you know, it's just a little trick you're using, okay? Hopefully you get that. If you have any questions at all with this, please let us know, okay? Thanks for that. See you next time.